Do you need a hand to find some icons for your spreadsheet? No worries, you can check it off your list with this handy workbook. Sorry, sorry, no more puns, but please have a heart and forgive me as we dive into searching and finding the icons that you need to make a great spreadsheet. So put all your clothes away and let's get started. Thanks for watching. As always, you can download this spreadsheet and many more with all the source code for free from the website in the description. There are fonts designed with graphics for you to use wherever you want to. This Sago UI is one of them. Wingdings would be another one that uh, maybe you're more familiar with. This Sago one comes with Windows, I think, or maybe Office. So a lot of people have it, so you should be able to use it uh, pretty freely. On the website, there's a table with the uh, hex codes for each of them and pictures. So I pasted that into a workbook and actually built a little UI around it to be able to show them and, and search through them here. As you can see on the website, it had descriptions for them all and they have the Unicode point as well. And so based on that, you could search descriptions and the Unicode point, you can actually do a couple formulas to actually show that icon in the cell based on the Unicode point. And so the first thing you want to do is take that hexadecimal number and just turn it into decimal. And then you just run Unicode character on that and that'll return what it is as long as you have the cell formatted to that font. In this case, we do. And so you can see in this list, uh, we're getting back all the icons that exist. The nice thing about having these as fonts is that you can size them up and down and they keep fidelity, which is great. To the right side, I've added uh, a search capability. So I basically just want a filter function on the description based on what you type into the cell and return uh, the matching set. So if I do a quick search here for a phone, it'll find uh, words like phone or microphone or phone book or megaphone. It's a very quick way to get an icon in a cell that you might want for like a header category or maybe on a dashboard to help provide emphasis to a number or, or area. And in this case, I can also search for check and get checkbox like things. So if you wanted to use that in a report or something, you're, you're able to do it too. If I actually paste that into a cell, you have to be sure to set the cell to the right Sago font for it to render correctly. In this list, if you just select one of those icons, there's some code that puts it on the clipboard. So no need to copy it yourself. There's also Wingdings font as well further down. And so the search there searches across everything uh, from Sago to, to Wingdings. You can add your own too. If we look at the names defined, uh, you'll be able to see that I have a one called search icons and that defines all the clickable space there. So I know what to put on the clipboard. It just makes it a little bit easier in the code so you can do an intersect with that range. And if it does intersect, and you can do something called clipboard.target.text, and that'll put uh, the icon on the clipboard. And it's a pretty handy trick for making uh, interactive spreadsheets. And with that, you know everything there is about this spreadsheet and how to find icons and use them. Please go off and find the ones you want and show me the results. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.